Okay, now let me show you how to search uh, into Google Scholar. Please open any browser, then simply go to Google Scholar. Okay, this is Google Scholar. So, please key in any keyword. This is the result, and as you can see, once you get the result, especially if you key in a very generic keyword, you're going to get so many results. As you can see, the result is here. But before you start downloading the material, it is better for you to utilize the function of. refining here in order to refine your result until you get the most relevant so you can refine by time you can also custom range your period of time by default they're going to sort by relevancy you can change it to sort by date you can choose whether you want to uh, exclude pattern and you may anti in order to exclude citation as well after you do refine, then you can go and focusing yourself into the result in the middle here and you can start browsing them. And at any time, if you find out that the article that you need uh, coming together with a PDF icon like this one, so meaning that you can simply get the PDF. So for example, I need this one. So if you click the PDF button, they will open for you the PDF directly. So once you get the PDF, I think you need, you know what to do next. You just uh, choose whether you want to download them, the full text, or you can simply uh, print them as you wish. Another thing, if you find out any of the result doesn't provide you with PDF, there is another option that you can use. For example, you need the specific article and you can click this button all version. So what is going to happen is they're going to open for you uh, the same article but, uh, that they retrieve from different platform. So by doing this, actually, they, they will open an opportunity for you to get the PDF from other link. So like this one, even though the original link doesn't provide me with full type PDF, but after I click the button, version button, then they're going to show me, okay, actually out there, there are a lot of other platform who uh, own the article in the form of PDF. So you can simply click them in order to get the PDF. For example, okay, I need this one, so you just click any PDF, then you can download them uh, directly from there. Okay, another tip in Google Scholar is that let me go back to the research, the search result. Okay, my suggestion: please choose um, one or two article from the result which is very closely relevant to yourself, to your so, research. Then you can click this button, related article. What going to happen is the system Google Scholar will provide you with another set of results, providing you with article in Google Scholar that are closely related to each other. So it is like a snowballing process. You get one and after you click that button, they're going to provide you with the following article related to each other. So you're going to save your time a lot. So again, as long as you can see the PDF is already there, so you just click in order to get the PDF. So basically, this is how you can fully utilize Google Scholar in order to get the article that you need.